Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube makeup tutorial and it is going to be pretty just basic. I don't have all the fancy lights and all of those things. Um, my name is Jenny. I uh, do work for a really high-end beauty um, retail company. Um, I'm always on the go. If I talk beauty, if I give tips, it's usually through my Facebook or my Instagram at Jenny Pro. Um, but today, from the responses I've got yesterday, I figured I'm going to try it uh, try to do this for YouTube. Um, I was trying to take the video that I put on Facebook over to the YouTube channel that I have, but I couldn't figure all that out. So I figured I'll just do this again. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation. So if you don't know, we launched it on September 8th. So here it is. Voila! And along with that, I'm going to demo the matchsticks, which um, are concealer slash foundations. Um, they are a little bit more of a uh, cream to powder finish. And then I'm going to also do just some blush because I'm going to go out to grab some dinner with my parents in a little bit. Um, the cool thing with these, if you don't know, <laughs> crap, if you don't know, they are magnetic. I always try to do it from a distance, but they are magnetic, which I think is super cool so that it doesn't get all lost in your makeup bag. Um, but I am going to do a quick demo of how to apply the Rihanna foundation. I'm going to share as many tips and tricks. Hopefully you guys like this. I don't want to take too much of your time up on your Sunday afternoon. Um, and prayers to anyone who may be watching out in Florida. My prayers are with you. Um, those in Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, Caribbeans, Bahamas, um, prayers to you all. So I've already prepped my skin. The thing with this foundation, guys, I will tell you right now, if you want to get away with just a simple moisturizer, it's not going to work. The foundation is a beautiful, soft, matte finish, but you do need to hydrate it. You want to juice it up. You want it to feel like your fingers are almost kind of slightly tacky towards your skin. So if you have a drier skin skin type such as myself, um, I've already prepped with a hydrating, toning water. I've used a little bit of my REN skincare serum. It's a firming and plumping serum. I've used my Coriz. 24 hour moisturizer um, with rose extracts in it and then at the end I followed up with my Josie Marin SPF moisturizer. So let's get right into it. I will be using Rihanna's unique sponge. It was cut flat so that it would not roll off of your counter. Um, so we will be using this sponge as well today. I am going to add in a couple of brushes. This is a brush from Sephora. This is what I'm going to use to apply it and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And then um that is it. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is a um, soft matte finish. It is great for all skin types. But again, if you are like me that you have a drier skin type, please really moisturize your skin. If you are more of an oilier skin type, then just think of using like a um, Hydra water kind of boosting serum. Uh, and then apply your moisturizer. But again, if you think you can, you're going to be able to get away with this just by using a moisturizer, it, it's, it's not going to give you the best results that you're going to want, which is that skin look. Here we go. So I'm going to shear this out. I talk about shearing out in layers at all times. Um, when I talk about shearing out a product, this is the type of layers that you want to see on the skin. You want to build your layers to where you allow each layer to dry down itself. If you go on, just like I did here, if you go and add so much at once, I'll show you like that, chances are that it's going to look very full and thick quickly. You will then become probably this um, type of person that will look like you're wearing a lot, um, where it can look heavy or cakey. Um, so think of building your layers to get to that coverage. What I mean by that is if you add thin layers throughout and build, each layer you're giving dry down time. That dry down time is gonna allow it to really set better into the skin. Um, so think very wisely of how much you apply at once. And then ask yourself where are you gonna apply it? Because chances are if you don't have concerns all over the area of the face, then you don't need to add too much um, all over. So be very strategic of where you're placing. Okay guys, so again, this is the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. I'm going to start just in the center where I typically get red. 
when I wear foundation or the reason why I wear foundation is because I do suffer from redness throughout. Um, so I um, am definitely just applying a thin layer first and foremost. Um, with my brush technique, I'm just, just using the tips of the bristles. You don't want to be painting on your makeup. There's no need for that. So you really are just touching your skin with the tips of the bristles of the brush. That will keep you, again, from applying too much at once. And it will allow you to really effortlessly blend the product out. So that's my first layer. Okay, let's go ahead and build. I'm going to add now my second layer. So the first layer, you can still see a little bit of redness. Not a ton. Now I'm going to go and add more to the areas where um, I do have the redness, which is on my cheeks, typically. Um, and again, you're not seeing a ton going on at once, guys, because again, the goal is you're building in sheer layers. It's not about, oh, I need to see it go on at once. No, just give yourself um, the time to allow for the coloring to build. Okay, let's go through my nose where I get a little bit more redness. I promise you, if you guys like these videos, I will make more, but I will get more better lighting as well. I'm grabbing a little bit more. And now I'm kind of just kind of creating like beautiful, soft kind of stamping or kissing little motions or you can say um, tapping um, motions just in the areas where there's a little bit more redness and that is because I'm trying to build more coverage so my movements have gone from sliding it on to where I want it to look oh sorry I think my battery's gonna die where I want it to look thin to grabbing more and now stippling it on not so much stippling because I think of stippling like you're just adding these dots all over and then it looks kind of muddy. So it's almost like you're stamping and wisping it out. Stamping and wisping. Stamping and wisping it out. Okay, what do we think? Lastly, I'm going to add one more layer. So people have always asked, you know, Jenny, do you like to use a brush? Do you like to use your fingers? Do you like to use your tools? I mean, your sponges, and I prefer all three to be used. If you really want to create a beautiful, smooth canvas where you do not see the streaks from your brushes applied onto the skin, then I always say end with a beautiful pressing motion um, and a light, gentle touch into the skin with your sponge. This is gonna soften it up, create more of that beautiful, I like to compare it to like fondant icing on a cake. So the brush will give you beautiful buttercream icing to a cake, meaning from a distance, everything looks beautiful. But if you go close to the cake and you see that buttercream icing, you can see texture. So I think of my sponge as being like the, the tool that's gonna create my buttercream icing to a fondant finish, where it looks a lot softer and smoother. You will see that I reference things to food a lot because, well, dessert, actually, because I love dessert. Okay, guys, so voila. It still looks like skin, right? It looks soft. Um, and so, again, that's why I use my sponge. If I use my fingers at any time, it's really kind of to press the jawline area out a little bit just to make sure there is no lining of markation. Um, and either way, you shouldn't get lining of markation because... You should be wearing the right color foundation. I'll also use my fingers to warm it up through my little laugh lines and things like that. Secondly, let's go ahead and do the concealer. Again, I'm trying to do this video under 15 minutes. Um, so for the concealer, I'm going to just draw it on straightly, straight from the actual product itself. Typically, I will use a, um, a finger, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, actual concealer brush. But I'm just kind of keeping in mind today this video is dedicated to the moms, to those who are busy in the mornings and don't have time to use all these different tools. So again, I'm just applying it there a little bit. This isn't about highlighting and sculpting today, so I'm not going to do it all over. I can maybe do that in another video if I get some good responses. 
Um, I'm going to drop my sponge down because with this texture being um, a little bit more of a cream to powder finish, it's a little bit more thick in consistency where this is where your lovely fingers will really warm it down because of the body heat that our body has naturally. It will help to bring this down to where it looks more like skin. And again, because the formula in the matchsticks are a little bit more richer, um, I am going to use the warmth of my fingers for this. Um, if you notice, I'm not pressing so much, like, um, I'm not being so hard on the pressure around my eyes. The reason for this, guys, is because you really want to be gentle with your skin. Um, I am 37, and, um, I've, you know, been in the beauty business for almost 18 and a half years, and so something I took away from the first beauty brand that I used to work with is just being really gentle with your skin. So what do we think, guys? Do you see how beautiful that just melted right in? And again, I give credit to the fingertips and the warmth of your skin to really melt it down. Again, because this formula is a thicker um, texture, I want to melt it down with my finger. Um, so just keep that in mind. You could even use it as a concealer. So I typically get red around my eye area. Um, because I suffer from allergies as well. So if you want to use it as a primer, everyone, it does work nicely as a primer. Okay, what do we think? All right, guys, so that was that. Um, you can set it a little bit with some powder. I always tend to set around the under eye area with a little bit of powder, and I know I'm a drier skin type, so that can kind of sound a little scary. Um, let me grab my brush. Hold on. Um, that can sound a little scary, um, but I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which was created for under the eyes. It has a little bit of uh, silica um, in it, which helps to create a beautiful, more hydrating effect while it sets your concealer. I do take a smaller brush, and I really concentrate on where I have most of the darkness, which is where I don't want my concealer to come off on. Um, because I don't want to show off my dark circles. So just a tiny amount and you press it in again to lock it into the skin better. If you notice for me, because like I said, I'm 37, I don't like to place powder through this area. I want that area to stay hydrated, to stay as just luscious looking as possible because one day I'm going to get the crow's feet. And so if I smile and I was to have had powder there, then the crow's feet area would look very dry, very chalky. Um, so that's something that I, I live by and I, um, I'm, I I swear it really works if you just avoid that area. Uh, when you do smile, for those who do suffer um, from a little bit of the laugh lines, then I promise you it won't look as obvious. Okay, so this is all the complexion. Um, I hope you all like it. I hope you love the tips. I'm going to finish out with a little bit of blush because I am going to dinner. Um, this is, again, from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And you can find it at all Sephora's and Sephora's inside JCPenney's. And this color is called Riddick. Riddick. All right, so I'm going to apply a little here. And again, just with the warmth of my fingers, I'm just going to blend it out. Again, because this is a cream to powder formula and... I like it to look as soft as possible. I'm only doing a little bit and I'm just blending it in with my fingers. You see how easy it blends though? But I will tell you guys that it's about, or guys and gals, I'm sorry. Um, it is about the way you hydrate your skin though. You could even tap it off from the product itself and then apply more. But it's the way you prep your skin. Had I not prepped the skin correctly, I promise you that um, my finger would be getting stuck. So if your fingers, if your brush, if your sponge is just moving effortlessly, that means you prepped your skin correctly. All right, guys. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you loved the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna um, makeup launch and tutorial of her foundation and her matchsticks. Have a great day. I kept it under 15 minutes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.